There's no way you won't go Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You were always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop Never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me Good morning, lovely boys and girls! It's always our joy to see all of you joining us today. Today, we are wrapping our lesson series, Discovering Jesus. But before we close this series up, let's play a game! Well, it's more like a review game. Here's how we'll do it. We will post multiple choice questions and you will try to pick the best answer within 15 seconds each question. We will have three rounds to play with two questions each round. Got it? Are you ready, guys? Okay, 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 here we go. Round one. In John chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus says, He is the vine and we are the blank. Letter A, sheep. Letter B, leaves. Letter C, branches. Or letter D, church. is letter C branches second question Jesus says if you love me you will blank my teachings John chapter 14 verse 23 letter A obey letter B hear letter C remember or letter D none of the above It's letter A, obey. That was an easy round, right? All right, all right. Next round. Are you ready? Okay, I guess you're ready. Here is it. Number one. In John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the blank. Letter A, truth. Letter B, life. Letter C, Savior or letter D way The answer is letter B live Here's for our fourth question In John chapter 14 verse 6 no one comes to the Father except through blank. Letter A, truth. Letter B, Jesus. Letter C, church. Or letter D, a door. answer is Jesus letter B Wow great job kids great memory now are you ready for our final round round three for our fifth question in John chapter 15 verse 5 if we stay connected to Jesus 
We will bear much blank. Letter A, fruit. Letter B, goodness. Letter C, weight. Or letter D, grapes. Last question this round, here's from John chapter 10 verse 26. It says, People who do not believe in Jesus are not his blank. Letter A, friends. Letter B, sheep. Letter C, horses. Or letter D, slaves. Letter B, sheep. Awesome job, kiddos! You got through our review questions. So, in today's lesson, we will see how we can truly love and adore Jesus through worship, through praise, and also through loving others. Let's check our Bible verse for today. Good morning, kids! Are you excited to learn another verse from the Bible? Today's Bible verse is found in John chapter 13, verse 34. It says, A new command I give you, Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. John chapter 13, verse 34. Say it with me this time, kids. Let's do it. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. John chapter 13 verse 34. I like challenges, so we will put a challenge here just a little. We will flash the verse on the screen, and here's the challenge. We are going to take the vowels out and leave that part blank. And let's try to read it together. Here's our verse. A new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. John chapter 13 verse 34. The Word of God is powerful. It is the best life guide in the whole world. It is a lamp for our feet and a light on our path. Can we say today's verse again for the last time? Ready? Go! A new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. John chapter 13, verse 34. Awesome job, boys and girls. It's time to worship Jesus. Let's give God our best worship as we sing and dance our hearts out to God. So, wherever you are joining us from, find your worship spot. Let us get our hearts and minds ready to worship our Lord. Would you stand on your feet and raise your arms like this. Let's pray this together. God, we welcome your presence today. Have your way in us. Feel the wonder, say his name. Watch the darkness slip away. Put your power on display. Say goodbye to fear and shame.
morning amazing boys and girls it's bible time one day a short time before the passover feast 
an evening meal was prepared for Jesus. Mary and Martha were there, also Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead. The house was filled with people, and soon it would be filled with something else. Mary was about to show her love for Jesus in a way many wouldn't understand. But Jesus knew exactly what was in her heart. Our scripture today is in John chapter 12 verses 1 to 8. Let's look at it together. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to Bethany. Jesus had friends who lived there, Lazarus and his two sisters, Mary and Martha. They were all very excited to see Jesus. They prepared a dinner in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus ate with Jesus. Then Mary took a jar of really, really, really expensive perfume and poured it over Jesus' feet. When she was finished, she wiped Jesus' feet with her hair. Mary did this to show how grateful she was to God for sending Jesus to them. The perfume smelled so wonderful, the whole house was filled with its fragrance. But Judas, the disciple who would soon betray Jesus, was not happy. That perfume was so valuable. It cost a whole year's worth of pay. We should have sold it and given the money to the poor. Judas didn't really care about the poor at all. He was a thief, and since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. Selling the perfume would mean more money for him. Judas was selfish and ungrateful, but Jesus defended Mary. Leave her alone. She is doing this because she understands what is about to happen to me. She is showing me great honor while she can, while I'm here. She won't always be able to do this. Mary was grateful, and that helped her do a great thing for Jesus. Kabalo ba mo unsay gibuhat de Mary sa pahumot? Yes, she poured it on Jesus' feet. Nga nung gibuhat niya to? You're right, kids. Besides her deep love for Jesus, Mary may have seen that Jesus' feet were still dirty and not being in a position to take water and towel. Mary chose to use her treasured ointment to wash Jesus' feet and then dry his feet with her hair. After Mary anointed Jesus, the fragrance filled the house. If you were at this dinner, would you be like Judas and get upset with what Mary did? Or would you also do something like Mary did to show your love to Jesus? Mary showed her love for Jesus in a very special way. Nothing was too good for her Lord and Savior. Kabaluba mo nga ang pahumot na gigamit ni Mary para hugasan ang tiil ni Jesus was very expensive. And dapat, kung mahal ang pahumot, ginagmay lang yun ang paggamit. But Jesus meant everything to Mary. Mary loved Jesus so much, nothing else mattered. Perhaps she knew Jesus would not be with her very much longer. So whatever she had of any value, she wanted to give to Him. Jesus wants us to love Him that much too. We may not able to pour oil on His feet, but we can worship and adore Jesus in so many other ways. We can sing songs and praises to Him. We can worship Him with our voices and with our prayers. We can share Jesus with others who do not know Him as Lord and Savior. And equally important, we can show that we love Him by loving others. Jesus said, A new command I give you, Love one another as I love you. So, you must love one another. This week, as we remember how much Jesus loves us, let's show how much we love Him. Now let's pray together, and as we pray, let's think of ways we can show our love to Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you are wonderful and worthy to be praised. Let my life be filled with worship and adoration for you. And by always giving you glory, let others see your love in me by the way I love them. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. our love and adoration for Jesus through praise, through worship, and by loving others. And that ends our lesson series called Discovering Jesus. I don't know with you kids, but for me, I really enjoy this lesson series with all of you kids. Thank you for joining us today. It is time to choose another great lesson series. Don't forget to come back next week because we are going to honor a very important person in our family. Have a great week, everyone, and God bless you all!